Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Aaliyah. This is As Always Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. Now y'all, I promised you I will be back with some more curl color videos. And today we have Gemini Naturals. I am so excited to be doing some more curl color videos. These are like my most watched videos on my channel and they're so much fun to do. You get to temporarily change your hair color for a short period of time until you're ready to wash it out. There's no commitment needed with this hairstyle. So today we are going to be using two of the Gemini Natural Colors and it's Sunset and Cranberry. Both are vegan temporary curl color gels. So here's how they look. This is what we're going to be playing around with today, y'all. Super, super excited. Look at those colors. And today we will also be playing around with some flex grip rollers. You guys will see this hair tool in one second. And let me go into the rest of the stuff that we'll be needing to complete this style. Okay, I also have with me some gloves here. Anytime I am dealing with color, I always like to wear gloves just so I don't get it underneath my nails. So I do have here with me a purple detangling brush. Um, it's not branded so I have no idea where this is from okay let me show you guys the flex grip rollers I've done this on my channel before I will link it up here <laughs> if I'm corrected and then I'll also have it at the end of this video and tag below so you guys can go watch the original flex grip roller video next but here's how they look so here are your flex grip rollers my friend and I got these off the Annie website I will have them linked below as you can see they're a little bit different from flexi rods because they have this point at the top and this point actually hooks into the bottom part right here. So hopefully you guys can see that. And I have a regular flexi rod right here just in case you guys want to see what the differences are. As you can see, this one has a little pointy part. This one is flat and closed. And then on the other side, this is actually open for you to loop it in like I said. And this is also closed as well. So those are the differences that you'll see with these two tools <laughs> i should say so we're gonna do flex grip rollers and we're gonna play around with some curl coloring gel okay so the directions say to smooth uh smooth and rake on damp or dry hair from ends to root over the curl awakening primer or your favorite leave-in conditioner styled as desired for best results diffuse or dry under a hooded dryer huh okay so i am actually going to be doing this on wet hair i have never used curl color gel and wet hair before but I just want to do something different I always do my coloring videos on dry hair I blow it out with my red hair and then put the color on but this time we're not going to do that we're going to be doing it right on damp hair and also this is their towel as well if you guys can see that in the back so I put this on right after I got out the shower so I can just lock all that moisture up there and it's also going to help drying my hair as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and actually get ready to do this curl coloring video. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just take out the towel. So here's how my hair looks. Woo! Alright y'all, I am out of the shower. Here's how my hair looks fresh. It's nice and damp. So that's what we're looking at for our hair today. I always have to think about how I want to part my hair and I just like never know. We'll just keep it down the middle for now. So what I'm going to do is just take it on the side, wrap it, I meant take it right down the middle and part my hair evenly through the sides. I'm going to pin this side up and out the way because we're going to do that next. And anytime I'm not working with a section of hair, I pin it up and out the way just so all that moisture stays in the bun like that. So now we have this section right here. I'm just going to break it down into a front half and a back half. So starting at the crown, dragging my finger down my hair right behind my ear and separate and it does not have to be cute at all y'all so i have my front set my back section and then that front section we are again going to go ahead and twist up out the way all right so now we have our back section that we will be working on y'all i'm a little nervous <laughs> i always get nervous when i'm doing curl color videos all right so here is another look just before we get started y'all and i have to take this off this is how it came in the mail so none spilled out as it was transporting 
We'll take this one off as well. Hopefully these work. I had a scare one time when I was using like hair paint spray, like wooden spray. So <laughs> I'm kind of nervous, but hopefully they work. All right, so that's the first section right there. We'll probably put like two or three back there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and when we're not working on a section, what do we do? Clip it up and out the way. All right, so now I'm ready to go ahead and put my gloves on and we can get started with this hairstyle. By the way, if you guys are new to this channel, hi, welcome. My name is Aaliyah. I do all things heat free hair tutorials and I specialize in rods and roller sets I just felt as though there was a gap in the natural hair community where there wasn't one single page or I guess content creator talking about rods and roller sets and specializing in that so I took it upon myself to dedicate my page to that because I know a lot of people who have natural hair have questions about doing rods and roller sets and sometimes they might not always turn out correctly so I'm here to show you exactly how to do that effortlessly every time so if you do like like rods and roller sets and learning how to do those hairstyles and go ahead and subscribe to my channel but without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use each one on every other curl so one curl will be sunset and the other curl is going to be cranberry normally on my channel i like to do an ombre effect but well, again we're doing something a little bit different this time um also it does not say that i need any additional products we're just gonna wing it and only use this plus it does say that this is a gel so we should be fine i already have a leave-in in my hair so we should be okay to go y'all i'm nervous <laughs> should we say a prayer i don't know why i always get nervous i just want it to turn out right like i just want it to turn out right and i'm nervous because i'm doing it on wet hair and i just don't know Alrighty, so i'm gonna break this down even farther we're gonna do two back here I'm taking that one i'm not working with i'm just gonna clip it so it's out the way and i have my first section right here all right y'all so we are ready to get started i did scoot up so you guys can see me and i have my first section all ready to go i'm going to first apply the sunset i am so excited so here is how it looks just one more time y'all and let's go ahead and start to squirt out the color oh pretty now i ran into a problem where um I didn't have enough last time so hopefully that doesn't happen again and I'm just gonna start kind of at the bottom and applying all that Ooh, okay I do like the color and I'm gonna do my best to work it all the way up the hair hmm okay the color is subtle if you guys can see it but it's definitely there wow okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit more three more squirts of that sunset that's how it looks and we're just gonna apply that again all over my hair all right i like the color i like how vibrant it is i know when it dries it's gonna be really pretty all right so it's giving like an orange which is totally fine with me now i'm just gonna take my detangling brush and go ahead and start to detangle make sure all the knots are out and also that the product is evenly distributed throughout the hair strands so now that it is i don't know if you guys can see the color I like it. It's subtle, but I think when it dries, it'll be like really noticeable. All right, so same thing as flexi rods. This is how you apply the flex grip rollers. I'm going to take my hair as straight as I possibly can. And then I'm starting on this side that has the flat end. And I'm placing my hair behind it like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and wrap. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and start to ravel up the hair. And as you can see, some strands are a little loose. All right, and just keep raveling on up. Now, once I get to the top and can't ravel anymore, I'm just going to go ahead and connect the two pieces together. <laughs> But there it is. All right, so that's how you do it. All right, so there is the first one. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna take this down right here, and this is our next one. And now we're gonna go in with cranberry. okay here's what cranberry looks like it's like a deeper orange like this is like a bright orange and then cranberry is like a deeper orange it looks like it's it wants to give red but it's giving like orange a little bit i don't know all right let's keep going all right so that's what it looked like i love how vibrant the colors are like they're very noticeable i hope that you'll be able to tell that there's two different colors in my hair like each curl is gonna have a different color every other curl will either have the sunset or the cranberry Ooh, and i feel like i didn't even need a lot okay all right so we're gonna just go in with two more squirts of that cranberry i have to like make sure i have the right color not too much it's getting everywhere y'all but that's what curl color does 
Bam, look at that, look at that. Look at it, friend, look at it. Okay, she's on there. I like the cranberry a lot, wow. Okay, so now we're all detangled. This is the Flux Grip Roller. Placing my ends on first to make sure that they are secure. Then we'll just continue to ravel up. And then taking the rest of the hair that didn't make it the first time. <laughs> and continuing to ravel up. Any little stragglongs, I'm just gonna continue to tuck those in and continue to ravel up. And then once we get all the way up, we can go ahead and work on closing flexi rod. I meant the flex grip roller, just like that. One thing that I do like about the flex grip rollers is once they're shut, I have not had a problem with them coming open or popping open. I do do other videos that's similar to this called loop rods, where I actually do have that problem of where I'll close it and it just pops back open. So this is a really good alternative if you guys don't like to do flexi rods or if you find them hard for you, try flex grip rollers. And we are ready to move on to the next section. Cool. All right, so all I'm gonna do is just take down that back section and we are going to part again. I like that you can do it on damp or dry hair. All right, so we're gonna try to do three right there. There. rolling everything else up and out the way all right so here's our next section I am gonna part this again it's a lot of parting when you're doing your hair section it off section it off smaller yeah so these will be three sections right here but for these two I'm gonna put these out the way since we're not working with them right now and we're gonna start with this one right here and we're gonna go back to sunset so here's our sunset and so four Try not to do too much per section because we gotta get through the whole head. Ooh, and I like that it's a gel, so you shouldn't really need anything else. I wanna make sure I have enough for my entire head so I don't wanna like apply anymore. I'm kinda nervous a little bit. I think I wanna do a little bit more. We'll do two more squirts on this one. So deepen that color a little bit, you know? The more you apply, the deeper the color gets, but like you don't know how much you're gonna need on your hair, so you don't wanna run out either, you know? All right, so the hair is already flat in my head, my hand. I'm taking it and applying it just like this, focusing on my ends first, wrapping those around, and then I'm just gonna start to ravel up, just like that. And I'm trying to lay it as flat as possible on the flex grip roller because that's just the type of look that I want to go for but there's multiple ways that you can wrap the hair onto the rod okay there it is Oof. okay the hardest part is like securing it because you can't really see <laughs> but that's okay we're gonna keep going all right friend here is the next section right here boom all right so let me move that up next is cranberry I have to like remember <laughs> I have to remember where we at. Y'all gonna have to help me. So here's the cranberry. Let me know what you guys think about this color. I like it. I like how vibrant it is. Like, it is really giving. All right, so that is, like, look at that, friend. Look at the color. Like, I don't even think I need to go in with an another one. That's enough. Especially because I'm scared. I don't want to run out. We're gonna make this. We're gonna stretch this. All right, so that's what we're looking like. Take that flex grip roller, just get it nice and straight, and then go ahead and take it, loop it just like that around. That's your ends. And then work on raveling it up. Like so. And continue to do so all the way up, nice and flat. And then once you can't anymore, just secure the ends by bringing them together, just like that. So that's how it feels nice and comfy. All right, I think we were on sunset. So we gonna go back, or were we on cranberry? I think we were on cranberry. We gotta go back to sunset. See, see y'all already messing up. <laughs> All right, so here's this one. This is so much fun. They don't really have a smell to them. A little bit. It's, it's a little floral smell, but it's nothing intense. All right, we're just gonna go in with one more pump because I gotta do my entire head here. And the last thing we wanna do is run low. All right, and you always wanna detangle, just making sure that it is evenly distributed. And I, I detangled in the shower, so my hair is already detangled, but you just wanna make sure that that product is all the, worked all the way through evenly. So now, once again, wrapping the ends on there, making sure those ends are nice and secure, just like so. And then I'm gonna start to wrap up, just like that. Okay, now that we're up, 
Go ahead and secure your ends, which probably isn't the easiest thing to do, but we gonna do it. If you turn it like that, it'll lay flat. Look at that, y'all. We moving and grooving today. All right, guys, so I am done with my back section. As you can see, it's right here. OMG, my light camera is covered in product. My hands are covered in product, but we are okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the front section. It only took me like, what, seven um, flexi rods are back there. It's not a lot at all. Our sections are pretty big, but it's going really well so far. I don't know how much product is left in here. I only can go by how it feels. So I do wish I could like see how much product was left in the bottle so I can actually gauge it. But I can go by weight and both of them feel like more than halfway full. I just don't want to run out. Like that's like the only thing I'm nervous about. All right, so taking our next chunk of hair. All right, and then all of this is gonna go back up and out the way. So here is our section of hair. We're gonna break that down into two, just like that. So now we have a front half and a back half. I'm just gonna go ahead and twist this up and out the way. And now we can focus right here. All right, I'm gonna go with sunset first because that's just what we started with. So we're gonna go with sunset first. I'm gonna do like four nice a little pumps i love the consistency i love how thick the product is it's not like that thick it's still a little bit loose but like it's thick enough like that's good and i like the color i like how it smells i like how vibrant it is so like everything's going right there's no wrongs right now so hopefully this comes out okay i'm nervous that it might flake on me but we shall see and again this is the only product that we're using i'm gonna go ahead and apply some more because i just want that color really to pop really do want that color to pop so working that in then we are going to detangle there we go and now grabbing another flex grip roller which i will have these linked below go ahead and secure your ends i'm just raveling over them a bit before i start to ravel up so they don't come loose i'm going to continue to work my hair up and then once I can't go anymore, I'm just going to secure my ends together just like that. All right, so next we're going to go in with cranberry. Since we just went in with sunset, I have to remember which one I used last. Like I don't have enough on my plate. <laughs> All right, so here is the next color. I hope for pumps is like not OD. <laughs> All right, since that was not a lot of hair, we're not going to go in with any more. And I'm actually going to take this red one. Flex grip rollers do come in multiple sizes. So we're going to go in with the smaller one since we are at our edge. All right, so here is my N. And I'm going to wrap that around. And go ahead and start to wrap it up. <laughs> Just like that. All right, guys, so here is this side right here. We are all finished. I didn't use too many rollers, and I still should have enough to get through to the next section, I'm hoping. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'm going to go ahead and knock out the other side off camera, and I will be right back hey y'all all right so i am back and my hair is fully done i am so surprised that there's like i don't know if there's weight in here i don't know how much is left i really can't see but like it feels like it's a lot <laughs> i wish i would can know how much is left so to know if i can use this again or not but i don't know i can't i can feel it and it feels heavy but i don't know if that's just like other material or how the packaging is i don't know but i do have some left in here as you can see my hair is fully finished thank the lord y'all it is it's 11 55 at night 
1155 at night, friend. Your girl's tired. We sleeping in these rod set. Okay, we gonna sleep in this rod set, friend. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. So I will be back here in the morning to show you guys the final results of how this looked. But so far, so good. I really do like the um, the vibrancy and how um, colorful the cranberry and the sunset colors are. This was a gel, so this was the only thing that I needed to use in my hair. Also, I started on wet hair for the first time ever, so I am excited to see how this is going to turn out. I'm probably going to come back here later tomorrow afternoon after it dries, but I'm about to go to sleep now. So if you guys want to actually see how I sleep in this roller set, make sure you stay tuned on my Instagram and on my TikTok and YouTube shorts where I post updated videos about my hair and how I'm maintaining it throughout the week. And yeah, y'all, that's it, friend. That's how we're looking. And we're going to bed. We going to bed. So that's it, y'all. I'm going to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, y'all. What's up? And welcome back. It has been, I don't know, maybe 24. No, not even because I finished my hair really late last night. I don't know how long it's been. I did sit under the dryer for two um, sessions. One last night for like an hour and then one right before I started recording for about 30 minutes because I did feel it and it didn't feel too dry. I did also sleep in this hairstyle as well. Sleeping was a 7 out of 10. I was okay. No no complaints in that area but I did have rollers on so it wasn't like the best sleep in the world but it was fine so now I'm ready to take them out oh my gosh guys there we go okay so the only thing that I'm going to be using to take down this hairstyle actually I'm not going to be using any oil or anything to take down the hairstyle because I don't want it to mess up the color oh my gosh guys I'm so nervous but I do have my plastic bag here so I will be putting the flex grip rollers back into my sheen bag that I have so I can keep everything um, neat and organized also I wore a black shirt to see how how much flaking that we're gonna have I'll be looking out for that as well that's why I wore me a black shirt because I want to see it all sister all right so without further ado y'all comment below do you think this is gonna be a win do you think this is gonna be a fail I, I I feel good I feel really really good right now so let's go ahead and start taking down these rollers okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the back and just work my way to the front I'm a little nervous friend I'm a little nervous but we go turn around so y'all can see what's going on so starting right here with this one all i'm going to do is just unsnap it and then i'm going to make it straight i'm going to unravel down a little bit and then i'm going to start to unravel in the opposite direction so i can create the curl and that's what we're looking like friend that's how it looks child we putting this right in here and before i move on to the next one i actually want to go ahead and just separate this this way once i get to the top i'll be finished so to separate i'm just going to make it flat and then separate where it naturally wants to and it's going to form that curl right back because it's dry that definitely is 100 percent dry y'all and i'm going to do the same thing for this one down here as well i'm just going to unravel a little bit and then i'm going to start to tw oh child then i'm going to start to twist so it kind of creates that curl that spiral that we want all right so then i'm going to make it straight and i'm going to start to just Go like that and break it apart where it naturally wants to. And just like that. Wow, y'all, we got some curls back there. Curls out. All right, so here's the next one. I can't really see, but we're just gonna fire through these. Unravel down a little bit and then start to unwind in the opposite direction so it makes that spiral. And that's how you take them out. I see a lot of people taking out their rods the wrong way. And yes, you can wrap it around your finger, but if it's already done for you, just do it that way. So go ahead and make it straight. And by making it straight, it's just easier for me to pull apart. And because it's dry, it's gonna snap right back into that spirally curl. Y'all see that? It's just snapping right back into the curl. And then you can pull on it just a little bit, very gently and it makes it like really uniform. So that's how they're looking so far and we're gonna keep taking these out. A Little bit of flakings on me, you guys can see. Yeah, that's why I wear a black shirt. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and just fire through these and you guys watch what I do. always gonna be popping forget everything else curls always gonna be popping but y'all it's 100% dry it's super shiny 
I like it. The, I think the color is subtle, but I want to wait until I take them all out to make that judgment. Maybe it's just because it's in the back. The color is a little subtle, but the curls, honey, the curls is popping. Yes, I'm here for it. Can you guys tell that there's two different colors in there? All right, so let's keep going. I'm just about done with the back section. And again, all I'm doing is just opening them flat, kind of breaking it down to where I can start to unwind in the opposite direction. And it's going to make that spiral. And you can see this is how it looks. Look at that curl, friend. Look at that curl. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love when it's worth it. Like, I love when a hairstyle is worth it. It was worth the losing the sleep over. It was worth the pain and struggle sleeping in these rollers. Because just look. Look at my hair, like it's beautiful. All right, so we're gonna just make this as straight as possible. And that just makes it easier for me to start to pull it apart. So there's like no extra tugging or um, getting naughty. And that's it, y'all. Like the curl, y'all. One product and it was a freaking, oh my gosh, it was a vegan temporary curl gel. It was a vegan temporary curl gel that did it to my curls, y'all. Cannot believe it. All right, y'all, so I have a few more to take out on this side, but, like, I can't stop smiling. I just want to, like, jump up and down and do a little dance. So here's the, like, what's going on. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it definitely is on me. It's on my yoga pants as well. But that's okay. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm still happy. <laughs> so, again doing the same exact thing i think the style came out so well i would definitely encourage you guys to do it so i've been all the way taken out yet and i already know already know so i would encourage you guys to go try it i'll have the flex grip rollers uh link below i also have the say uh the gemini naturals get huge sunset and cranberry link below as well if you guys want to do your style just like mine but they do also have a couple other colors on their website that you can check out i am so happy Just look, it's so pretty. I can definitely tell that there's two different colors in there too, as I'm looking in the mirror. Like, I'm almost silent. Like, it's so cool. It is, it is it's like bouncy, it's 100% dry. I'm like really shocked. Like, I am really, really shocked. Like, are you kidding me right now? Okay, y'all, so I definitely am speechless when it comes to these curls, this color, this hairstyle, the product, everything. I am so blown away already. What I'm gonna do is knock off the other camera really quickly. Uh, what? What I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is knock off the other side really quickly off camera so I can come back and show you guys the final results. If you guys are so far liking this hairstyle, liking all the techniques that I showed you to get these bomb curls, make sure you subscribe to my channel because this is all I do. I create curly hairstyles that are heatless, fun, and easy to do. So make sure you guys follow me. I'll be right back when the other side's taken down. Hey y'all, so I'm back and my hair is fully taken down. I do have flakes on me, but I believe once I kind of get going, the flakes will eventually stop. It was just because I was like separating the curls. I think that's why it was flaking, but like as I shake my head, I'm not really getting like much flakes. So I think we should be okay in that area. And yeah, y'all, results on 10. Product highly 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 recommend the only like negative thing i would have to say is i just don't know how much product is left for me to if i can use it again or if i should order more i don't know um even like looking kind of at the bottom here i don't know if it's you can't tell and then sometimes with the packaging it could be have a little bit of weight onto it and it's not necessarily the product it's the bottle that's heavy so you just that's the only negative thing i just i wish i could know how much product was left in the container but other than that your girl's happy honey your girl is happy results are so fleeky y'all so fleeky so cute it's such a vibe i feel really beautiful like i don't even know what else to say like i'm really really happy my curls are always popping so if you guys again want to go out and get the flex grip rollers or get the hue um temporary coloring gel make sure you guys check out the links below so you can get curls that look just like these so so happy but y'all without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go you have seen the curls friend 
yeah okay get all up in there there was like two on this side that wasn't dry so i just left them whole and then once they dry i will go ahead and separate them that's another tip for you guys okay anything that's not dry do not try to separate it just leave it alone and let it dry on its own but everything else was good to go so 99 percent of my hair was definitely dry all right y'all so that's all i have for you today thank you guys so much for tuning in and check out the links below if you want to see any more information about these products and hair tools my name is Aaliyah. this is as always Aaliyah where we always keep it real. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. <laughs>